So by 7 o'clock, scattered storms, 80 degrees down to ni uh, 73 by 9 o'clock as the storms fade away. By 11 o'clock, we are turning the corner. Most of us are going to be dry, but still staying warm. Plenty of humidity still in place, so overnight lows will stay right around the upper 60s for most. Ocala should get down to 65 degrees, 68 from Daytona Beach down through Ticeville. Melbourne going to get to an overnight low of 69. So this is what radar is going to look like as we head towards the 7 o'clock hour. Notice in Northern Lake County, all the way through uh, Orange County and into Osceola County, dark red showing those torrential downpours. Could be uh, seeing some more severe weather with some large hail. Again, something we'll have to keep a close eye on. Otherwise, torrential downpours, strong gusty winds, and frequent lightning are going to be the impacts with those storms. By 9 o'clock, heavy to the rain shifts its way back down to the south. Earlier areas worked over by those earlier storms will begin to clear on up. And as we head towards 11 o'clock, all of us turning the corner and clearing things up as we head into tomorrow. As we head into tomorrow, we have a slight window here for a chance for an isolated storm that could become severe across uh, Brevard County. Otherwise, most of the showers and storms should be working their way out as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So the day planner for tomorrow, just like today, early is looking fine. Once we get towards that three to five o'clock hour, that's when those storms begin to build fire up in daytime highs worked away into the mid to upper 80s. Over the next seven days, once we get through those storms tomorrow, it is looking beautiful. Plenty of dry air moves back in. Highs will stay in the low to mid 80s and low rain chances as we head through the end of the week and into next weekend.